Hello everyone, I'm Valentin from DM Trading Bulgaria. For today's vlog, I decided to use our other office. As you know, our founder, Pascal Teorida, he is involved in another company called Jarvis, and uh, this is their office. I like the, back the background here, it's uh, very childish and it uh, suits me, so that's why I decided to make this vlog here. Uh, today I'm going to speak a little bit uh, about uh, the news and how they're affecting the market. Uh, I'm going to give you some advices, so let's start with this. Uh, the first thing that in my opinion is uh, very important is uh, that uh, you should make a habit for yourself in order to check the news uh, every morning because uh, in this way you're, gonna, you're going to know uh, what you can expect from the markets today and uh, based on this you can make your plan better because sometimes uh, some unexpected volatility make, uh, may uh, bring unexpected movements on the markets which could uh, hit your stop loss or just interfere with your uh, plan very badly. So that's why it's uh, very important to uh, follow the news and to know what you can expect uh, from the markets. Me, uh, as you know, I'm a commodity trader. So very often I'm uh, checking uh, uh, what is the demand and supply for uh, certain uh, metals, especially for I'm uh, very often checking uh, whenever I can uh, find uh, some news about uh, the big uh, export and uh, uh, the countries that are making actually the biggest export for some of the metals and of course uh, some of the biggest consumers because this is what actually is uh, driving the prices from uh, uh, for some of the metals because the demand the demand and supply there is uh, playing a big role it's actually for uh, for every uh, security on the market but uh, there is uh, you can see it uh, very clearly uh, what uh, what else I can tell you is about uh, if you prefer to trade oil. In my opinion, it's uh, very important to follow the OPEC meetings and uh, the crude oil inventory. Uh, on the OPEC meetings, you can uh, see what's going to be the policy and how the maybe a new uh, supplier for the market will appear, or maybe uh, let's say that uh, the demand will increase or decrease because uh, of some new arrangements. This could affect the price and uh, also. Uh, you know that if they're making a cut of the production, uh, it's important to follow on uh, what levels are they making it because uh, sometimes uh, they're saying that they're cutting the production, but uh, the market is already oversupplied and uh, they're cutting on production on even higher levels. And uh, this is just a speculation because they're saying it, the market is uh, trying to, and a lot of traders are trying to push the price on one, and the others, on one or other side. But actually, they're cutting the production uh, already over supply level, so this is uh, not uh, making any difference. But of course, the, the price is reacting to it because it's a news which appears on the market. So this is, uh, in my opinion, very important to know. Also, if you prefer to play indexes or maybe some uh, um, other security which are involved, uh, involved, let's say, with the economy of a given uh, country, uh, it's uh, very important also to follow uh, the news on some uh, informational platform, let's say CNBC, Bloomberg, doesn't matter. Um, the recent example I can give you is uh, with uh, what happens with uh, Brexit and uh, the vote there. Um, as you know, Theresa May is, took the power and uh, she promised that she'll bring uh, the Brexit to the end, but uh, it's not going to be very easy for her because she's in the middle of the fight. The parliament uh, won't agree with the uh, conditions that uh, she's arranging with the European uh, Parliament, with the European Union and the European Parliament, but uh, the European Union they won't uh, give her uh, give her uh, much better conditions because uh, if this happens and actually uh, they agree to something uh, good for them, uh, this might uh, start the domino effect and a lot of from the biggest uh, biggest country that actually uh, driving the European Union can uh, also want to. Uh, get out from the union let's say like this and uh, in order to prevent this from happening the european parliament is uh, giving them let's say not the worst condition ever but uh, not very good conditions and uh, in this way they're trying to force them to stay into the union uh, we'll see what's going to happen there will be probably another vote uh, as far as i know there is expiry date on uh, which they have to reach to an agreement uh, the worst case scenario is to uh, get out from the union with uh, uh, no uh, like agreed uh, conditions which could affect the UK uh, economy very badly. Uh, of course, as you know, in this way, uh, all the traders will look for a short position into the FTSE. Um, of course, there can be a different uh, place with the currency pairs. Maybe Michael Kilian will uh, 
I'll try to make a vlog and to explain you a little bit more about uh, a little bit more about this because uh, uh, there it's really dependable um, the Great Britain pound again against which uh, currency is and uh, of course this is uh, making a difference how the price will react but uh, in many cases uh, of course I think uh, there is also a way that uh, they'll uh, reach an agreement and they'll, go, uh, they'll get out from the union or they'll uh, reach a point when uh, there will be uh, no place for another negotiation left and I think the European Union has the power to set that uh, the Brexit uh, referendum is out of the picture because obviously uh, there is a disagreement between the people, parliament, the government and uh, everything so I think uh, there is a way for like uh, uh, to say that they're not going to get out from the union on a political level and it's just uh, going to look like that uh, the time for negotiation has ended and uh, this is their only choice. Uh, in this way, uh, this maybe in my opinion will cause uh, least stress on the economy and there will be no uh, like uh, really harsh actions on uh, let's say some of the uh, companies, some of the stocks or maybe even the index. So um, maybe this is a uh, really uh, politically uh, legal lay way to uh, get out from these situations, uh, uh, this situation very calm and uh, without any stress. But of course, the time will show, we'll see uh, what's going to happen next. Another thing, of course, very important, the Fed meetings, uh, you have to follow them because they're affecting the US economy very strongly and uh, especially the, uh, the US dollar, uh, it uh, really, uh, the mo one of the most important things uh, for nowadays is uh, when there is a rate hike, so you have to follow this. Um, it's uh, very uncommon up to this point, I think there were like uh, five rate hikes until, then, until now for the recent years. Uh, it's uh, very unlikely for them to say that uh, it's, uh, let's say, 99% sure that uh, there will be a rate hike on this, um, uh, on this Fed meeting and uh, uh, they'd come up uh, with a a news that uh, they won't uh, make a rate hike. So in uh, this case, uh, it's uh, very important to know that, uh, especially if you're in the fixed income sector, sometimes uh, you can, um, you have to play actually the news the other way around because uh, uh, the, there is a possibility, the, the effect from the, uh, this hike to be already priced. And uh, actually, uh, as I already said, you have to play the other way around because the price is uh, already on the levels uh, that needs to be and uh, whenever it uh, uh, it says that everything is as ex is expected uh, sometimes the price is going uh, the other way around uh, which is uh, against our uh, some most people expectations because as I already said uh, this is already priced on the market and it's time to uh, go back uh, to its uh, normal level so this is uh, something very important uh, which you can also follow and of course uh, last but not least are the elections uh, you have to know when there is elections on a certain country uh, for government president it doesn't matter uh, it's always causing uh, stress on the uh, on the economy and uh, this is uh, you can see this uh, very clearly on the index price so you have to uh, you have to follow this as well uh, very closely and uh, just to be careful most of the time this is uh, just a little bit uh, more volatility but if something crucial happens it could uh, cause us uh, very uh, big movements which uh, if they are in your favor uh, you can uh, make a lot of money but if they are against you you can uh, uh, lost a lot as well so that's why you have to be careful and uh, pretty much this is uh, everything what I wanted to share for, with you uh, for this vlog I hope you like it I made it a little bit different and uh, for the future we're going to make some new arrangements and we're going to uh, show you our vlogs in a more interactive way if you like this video hit the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and wait for more Thank you very much for your attention. See you again next time. Bye-bye.